taking the questions. I want to ask you about Haiti. I want to follow up. Uh, there's been an expectation for months now that uh, uh, you know Canada might lead a military mission to Haiti. And my question for you is, given all our other commitments in the world, Latvia, uh, Operation Reassurance, the rapid response required from NATO, our increased deployments in the Indo-Pacific, has Canada run out of soldiers to supply a mission to Haiti? And the second question, or the, the additional question is, what exactly has the United States asked of you with respect to Haiti? Could you please be clear on that? Canada has long been a friend to the people of Haiti, and we will continue to be. Uh, for the past three decades, we have engaged in Haiti uh, in many different ways, in many different situations, uh, with military support, with police support, with uh, a range of supports. Uh, and we will continue to be there for the people of Haiti. What is um, particularly important in this situation is that the Haitian people themselves be at the center of uh, the support, the building of stability, and the resolution of the crisis in Haiti right now, which is why our focus and how we have already stepped up significantly is on assisting in doing just that. First of all, with sanctions that have uh, caused uh, real response from the country's elites uh, in terms of uh, allowing for greater stability, but we know there's more to do, and that was certainly something uh, that we talked about with the United States and continue to talk about other with other partners on increasing the sanctions on uh, the Haitian elites. Uh, we've also stepped up in our direct support for the Haitian National Police. We know that they have to be at the center of uh, solving the security issues and restoring stability to the country. So we will be there and continue to be there for that. We've been shipping equipment. We've been uh, working closely on, on, uh, on opportunities to work with them. And we will continue to. Right now, uh, that process and that kind of support we're giving is making a difference on the ground. We're all very aware that things could get worse in Haiti. And that's why Canada and uh, partners, including the United States, are uh, preparing various scenarios if it does start to get worse. But we also know that right now, what is effective is empowerment of the Haitian National Police to solve the situation themselves and support uh, for the Haitian people through humanitarian support and others, while at the same time we're holding the political class, class and the economic class to account. Um, that's what we will continue to do, but we are always ready to do more if it becomes necessary. In regards to our conversations with the United States, um, it's been centered around uh, making sure that what was called for in the UN resolution in September actually happens. That is, the sustained free flow of food, water, medicines, and fuel to the Haitian people. That's uh, what Canada's efforts to date have been helping in resolve, and that's what we're going to continue to focus on, and that's certainly what the United States uh, and others uh, is continuing to look to Canada uh, to be leading on as we are. Uh, 